when we first rolled up there to pick him up. At all, yes. The first we did time. not, so he could have just... I. He may or may not have been in his cell. I didn't even look in there. Okay. Where normal prisoners uh, spend think, most uh, of their time. I think one of the units said that they did look in there and they didn't see anyone. Okay. Well, when we rolled, when we rolled up after the fact as SWAT team, we did search all of these cells. Uh, yeah, but I'm talking about the first incident. Okay. With, with the, with the... All right. Okay. So I got him in a medical, got him yeah. up. He gave me a statement. It was, he said he saw purple highlights in his hair. He was pulling out guns. He, or he pulled out one gun, a pistol, and um, flashed that at him a couple times, aimed it at him. And then he put that away. And Holt Hayes, and like he said, when he was up here, he reacted by punching him. And then um, Alex Miller then performed that. I mean, that's what that was his story. He said that he stabbed him after he punched him. Or, Let the records yeah. show that the police report does indicate that a deputy sheriff officer did go into the barracks and did not find any. Yeah. That's all I have. In defense? Yes. <clears throat> How you doing today? Pretty good. What about you? Doing good. Doing good. Amazing. So, I just want to understand to make sure that I'm tracking here. That okay. after you took the stab victim yes. to the hospital, you then got a statement from him and he said that he don't know there was a purple highlights in the man's hair. And did he even give you a direct name of who it was? He said it was, well, yes, he did. Okay. God, I'm sorry, that first statement, it threw me off a little bit. Yeah, it was just a brief of his, uh, I can give you his full statement if you would like. Not quote by quote, but. No, that's fine. Pretty we, accurate. We, we, get the, we get the whole thing. Okay. Um, what I do want to ask is, is it common for inmates to work around the boxes? It is when they 